25 ASRock has officially introduced its first custom workstation GPU, the Radeon Pro Creator Series, and it's based on AMD's brand new RDNA 4 architecture. Let's break it down in simple terms, and I'll also share what I personally think about this release. Not long ago, ASRock launched its Creator Series based on the RX 7900 XTX, but those were more like modified gaming cards for professionals. They came in two types one with a blower-style cooler and another passive model, but the passive one was not for DIY users like us. This year, things are changing with AMD's new Radeon A1 Pro series. Instead of calling it RX 9070 XT, they're branding it as Radeon Pro R 9700, aimed specifically at creators, developers, and professionals. Here's what we know about the new Radeon R 9700 creator card from ASRock. It's based on the Navi 48 GPU. It has 32 GB of VRAM perfect for heavy creative workloads. Boost clock goes up to 2920 MHz. And the game clock is 2350 MHz. Yes, even though it's a pro card, it still has a game clock which is kinda cool. ASRock stuck with a blower style cooler but ditched the passive option. And the card is physically smaller than the RX 7900 XTX, probably because it consumes less power. Here's the best part for the first time ever. AMD is allowing custom designs for their pro cards. That means partners like ASRock can now build their own unique versions, instead of everyone getting the same basic reference design. So while we won't see any flashy RGB lighting on these, at least we'll get different coolers and performance tuning depending on the brand. Now here's my take on this. I honestly think this is a smart move by both AMD and ASRock. For too long, workstation GPUs looked boring and felt like a one-size-fits-all solution. Giving brands some freedom opens the door for better cooling, lower noise, and maybe even better stability for creators. Plus, 32 GB VRM is a huge win if you're editing 4K video, rendering 3D scenes, or doing AI work. And I love that they've included the new 12 V2X6 power connector it shows that ASRock is really thinking ahead. So what do you guys think? Would you ever consider a workstation GPU like the Radeon Pro R9700 for your creative or professional workflow? Or do you still prefer gaming cards for everything? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss an update on the latest GPU news.